Hi everyone, it's Jennifer. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, so the last video I made was the little girls' dresses, and um, what I've decided is to make the um, bloomers to go with them. So I've made this one that matches um, the dress that I made in the tutorial. Now I'm going to make one to match the other dress. Um, okay, so the pattern pieces will be on my blog and I'll put a link in the description bar. Is it a bar? I'll put a link in the description. Um, so basically it's just two pieces cut on the fold and you'll also need some elastic. I've got 8mm and 12mm so I used the 12mm for the waist. I didn't put that much in actually. I'm going to put a bit more in but these do fit the baby and um, that's where the 8mm goes. Uh, and you'll also need a safety pin to thread the elastic through. So that is it. So yeah, both pieces are going to be cut on the fold. So I'm going to make it to go with the yellow bit on the dress, which was made from this pillowcase. So yeah, I'm going to do the markings and then cut out the pieces. pieces cut on the fold that look like this so this is the front and this is the back the thing you're going to do is just put right sides together it's so simple and you're going to sew down the side seams and also sew the crutch together and then turn it right side out Also do is zigzag or serge the edges of the fabric. Okay, so you should have something that looks like this. And next, all we're going to do is make some chambers for the lace. So basically, you could um, zigzag or serge all around the top of the fabric, but I'm not going to do that. So you just fold it over a little bit, like so, and then the width of the lace. So it'll be sort of like that, maybe a bit smaller. We just pin it all the way round and then just sew all the way round and then you just do the same for the legs. Hold it back a little bit and then the size of the elastic and then pin it all the way round. 
sorry, then just sew it all the way around. Make sure when you do the casing that you leave a gap, that's where you're going to thread the, the elastic through and you do that for the legs as well. Alright, so the next thing is to get the elastic, just measure the baby's waist or a pair of, I'm just going to measure these. Get your um, safety pin and thread the elastic through all the way around and do the same with the legs as well. So once you've threaded it all the way through, just make sure you cut off any excess excess and stitch the two ends together. I just um, use a zigzag stitch. So I've sewn it together and now you just tuck the elastic in. it's fed all the way through, go around a few times like so and then just stitch the opening closed and do the same for the legs as well. Okay so all done. When you finish you should have a cute pair of bloomers or nappy covers or diaper covers, whatever you want to call it. This one should fit um, 0 to 3 months. Tiny, tiny, tiny. So that's it, all done. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.